Harlem shit. Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Friday, March 29th. I'm Jake, and this is Addie. Thanks for joining us today. We have heard Miss Lowry's students in digital design were working on some pretty cool projects. So we sent Vanessa, Emily, and Alyssa to check it out. Here's what they found out. Hi, I'm Vanessa here. <laughs> Kylie. Ileana. How long have you been working on your projects? Two days. Since yesterday. What project are you working on currently? Um, paint. Making little dogs. Tell us about your project. Um, we put random shapes together and make an animal. They look deformed. Keep up the good work. On Wednesday, we aired a video called The Question of the Week. The question asks how many teachers were there at FMS. Here's the answer. We'll have another question for you soon. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to Tiger Vision News. Our first round of star tests are starting next week. 7th graders will take their writing star test on Tuesday and Wednesday, while the 8th graders take math and reading. It's important that we're all ready for these big tests. Be sure to get plenty of rest this weekend. And you'll probably want to bring a jacket with you to school on testing days, just in case your room is a little bit cold. And don't forget that no cell phones are allowed to be turned on while you are testing. They'll be collected at the beginning of the day. Everyone get ready to do their best on the star test. In other news, Miss Lowry has yearbooks for sale. If you'd like to have one, you may purchase them online or from Miss Lowry herself. Just drop by her room, give her her name, $40, and she'll be more than happy to reserve a copy of what will be sure a spectacular yearbook. Don't miss out. Before you go home today, go by the snack shack and get something to eat. The snack shack is open every afternoon and you can get all sorts of goodies to eat after school. The snack shack is located in the concession stand between the gyms. Make sure you go check it out. That's all the announcements we have today. Let's check in with Davis and see what's in our weather forecast. Hey, I'm Davis here with your weather. Here's your current conditions outside. Looks like 71 degrees, partly cloudy, winds to the south at 10 miles an hour with a 20% chance of rain. Here's your regional forecast. Looks like we have some rain to the east of us. Here's your five day forecast. Looks like we got a cold front com coming in, but looks like we'll have a nice warm weekend with much cooler temperatures expected Tuesday. I'm Davis with the weather. Back to you. Thanks, Davis. Now let's take a look at sports. Good afternoon, Tigers. I'm Jacob, and this is Cooper, and here's a look at today's sports. It's Friday, and it's time for Athlete of the Week. Let's find out who our coaches have chosen for Athlete of the Week. Hey, guys, I'm Donovan here with Macy. Congratulations on being Athlete of the Week. What sport do you play? Track. What do you run in track? A mile. And what's your favorite thing about track? Running with my friends. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Donovan here with? GK. Congratulations on being Athlete of the Week. What sport do you play? Track. What events do you do? Uh, 2400 in a mile. And what's your favorite thing about track? Uh, running with my friends and going to the track meets. Thank you. Donovan here with? Jane. Congratulations on being Athlete of the Week. What sport do you play? Track. And what events do you do? A mile is a mile and a half in triple jump. 
And what's your favorite thing about track? Um, track meets. Hey guys, I'm Don here with Lucas. Congratulations on being athlete of the week. What sport do you play? Uh, track. What events do you do? Uh, I uh, throw sh I throw disc. And what's your favorite thing about track? Throwing. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Felicity. Congratulations on being athlete of the week. What sport do you play? Track. What? How long have you been doing track? Uh, two years. What do you like most about track? Uh, hanging out and running with my friends. Thank you. Congratulations, athletes. Turning the news from the tennis courts, the next tennis match of the year will take place Tuesday. The varsity team will play Evans at 315. The matches will be played at Evans. Do your best, Tigers. In track news, the next meet of the year will take place Wednesday and Thursday at Dumbarton Junior High. Our coaches have been working out everyone really hard, getting them ready to do their best at the event. You know what? We know everybody will be ready. That's a look to today's sports. Back to you. That's it for today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll see you later. Until then, Tigers. Bye. Bye.